for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to go live on YouTube. I've tried three times and it keeps telling me to rotate my phone, but I can't do that. So we are now going to do this on Instagram. So I have this lovely box of things from Laura. It's great. It is all of the matte colors that I don't currently have. And we are going to swatch them out. This is not the brush I want. I want something slightly smaller. Oh, hello, people. This is my backup plan because apparently I cannot figure out how to go live on YouTube. So we're going to go live on Instagram instead. So I have a pretty... So I need the camera. I have a pretty large Cosmic Creations matte palette already. This is, if I can pull it out. It's a bit messy right now, but this is sort of what we're already working with. It's pretty large. I like it quite a lot. It sort of stays in this setup this like lives up here so that everything is where everything's in color order and I can just grab it as I work. My swatch sheets on the other hand have no order. I just swatch them sporadically so that I can just like play around and it doesn't matter when I add new colors. So we are going to unwrap some stuff and just like have some fun with this. So it was a very large package. It also included the new metallics, which come out in two days, like Meadow New Year's Eve. So two days until they come out and they're quite a lot of fun. I played around with them in a post a few days ago and I'll probably actually, if I have time, paint with them in this video. I'm sort of on the clock. I'm filming at the kitchen table and <laughs> it's only happening because family's out. So let's get into unwrapping stuff. I already unwrapped two of these before realizing that I literally had no time to film this and it needed to wait until I actually had time and could enjoy these colors. So we have spruce which I don't have. So all of these should be new. I don't think I reordered anything. And these were kindly all gifted to me from Laura in exchange for the work I do with her. So I'm gonna start by just like writing names. Ooh, Clover Blossom. I already have you. And what I already have, I'm just gonna like tuck to the side so that I don't double swatch it. So Clover Blossom's right here. It's quite a pretty color. I think I've used it in a couple sunset posts. Oh, yes! Oh. Thank you, Laura. So I have this red. This is her Alizarian Crimson. But this is what my pan of it looks like. It is one of my favorite reds. I absolutely love it. This is it swatched out. It's my favorite Alizarian Crimson. And so I am very happy to have another pan of it. Uh, to my collection. And this is leaf, which I've already unwrapped and then rewrapped, which is why this wrapping is not the best. Yeah, that's leaf. It's a nice pretty little gold one. I have to say, like the fine motor skills, it must take these paint makers to wrap up these little paints like they're chocolates. 
incredible. I do not have the skills for it. I barely have the skills to unwrap them. What's this? Shadow Rose is this. It's sort of similar to Tundra Pink by Schmincke. Old Leather is this, which I used quite a bit in some of my Christmas cards for people. It's like just a nice neutral brown. This is the other one I wrapped up, which is Hibiscus, which Amber, I think, has been using a bunch of posts. One of the members of the team has been using it. I've been seeing it and looking at it and going, oh, that's pretty. This is Truffle, which is here. And we have Cadmium Yellow Deep. Oh, this is new. This is Daisy Yellow. And I don't have a Cadmium Yellow Deep in my palette right now. Oh no. Daisy. I just can't read. So this is the first row. This is the second row. Once I've written this entire section, we'll fill these ones in. What's this? Gonna need to go in the freezer, whatever it is. Quinac oh, it's quinacridone violet. I'm gonna have to pop you in the freezer. But you are your new, your QB19. I'm very excited about you. Your cranberry. You're making my fingers all sticky, but you're really pretty. Normally I'd stick them in the freezer right away, but because I'm short on time, I'm going to wait and do it after. Let's see what this is. You are goldenrod. Do I have goldenrod? I don't think so. I got butternut, I've got the other one, but I don't have goldenrod yet. And I already have paint on my hands. Now you know this is gonna be a good video. We're like five minutes in and I've already got paint on me. And we haven't really picked up a paintbrush yet. Oh, this one has one of the new labels on it. So the metallics are now labeled with a label maker. And this one has one of the new Cosmic Creations label maker labels on it. Is this... Sangria. Oh, I don't have Sangria yet. So Sangria is a mixed pink. That is really pretty in people's swatches. I think I've only seen it in Amber's posts. Maybe I've seen it in somebody else's as well. Um, this is Lapis which is good because my pan is, let's say like, probably, there's probably two fifths of it left. Made a pretty good dent in it. Oh, 
this is deep water. Yep, deep water. So, actually, there's deep water. There's lapis. Lapis is probably the ultramarine blue I reach for most often. It's an ultramarine blue, just a pure one. It's not a red shade, and I like it the most. Pickle. I do have pickle, uh, but it is a green earth, and I absolutely love green earths. This is something. This is buttercup. This is buttercup. And it is super sticky. This package has been sitting for a couple days in a very warm house, and so stuff has had time to stick. And so it's not unexpected. Which green earth is this? Well, no, it just is green earth. I'm gonna have to compare that to my other green earths. And I think though it is. Oh, no. It might be a new one. Might be a test one. <gasps> strawberry. I don't have strawberry yet. I have cherry. I have red coral. But I don't have strawberry yet. Moss. I have you. I like you, but I have you. This one is very tall. And I don't quite know what it is. Oh, it's Lava Lizard. Which is this. Uh, this is Ocean Breeze, I think. Yeah, it's Copper Blue. It's Ocean Breeze. It is Ocean Breeze. So we still have a pretty good pile to unwrap. Let me figure out what they are. This is cinnamon. Okay, this is new. Twilight, I do have. It's very pretty. Storm Break is right here. Tawny. I don't think I have Tawny. Do I have 
Tawny tucked away somewhere. No, I don't. So this is Tawny. This is this is burnt sienna, but it doesn't actually have the palette name. I, don't know. Okay. I think it's probably nope, not what I thought it was. Cad yellow orange is papaya. She's right here. Probably the orange I use most often. I'm not a huge orange fan, so like it has to be the right orange if I'm using an orange. Hermarosa Beach is here. Oh, this is Vivanite. I don't actually have Vivanite from any brand in my palette. And Laura has been playing around with a couple different versions. This happens to be the blue one. I think she's also got a blue gray. I'm sure the blue one is lovely. Deep Pine is up here. It's a PG8. It's very pretty. It's got a very lovely, like, smooth top to it. What's this? Prussian Blue, which would be Sapphire. It's right there. Oh, I need a sapphire. This is Cosmos, which I don't have yet. This is new. Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas. What's this song stuck in my head? Is this Bay Breeze? Hmm, that's new. Looks like it's lilac. Is it lilac? It is lilac. So this is lilac. I should probably go back over these with a pen. Uh, I used it in a few of my mixing palettes last year. And be on the lookout because those might be coming back this year. They did quite well. Spring. I love spring. This bright, bright green. I've used 
probably a fifth of my pan, maybe a bit more. The only pan that I've totally finished and had to totally replace is Buzzy Bee, which is her yellow. Which is funny because I'm not normally a yellow person and I love that yellow. I believe it's PY74. I think this is Mimosa. Nope, it is a new color. It is called Wild Pink. This is either River Tears or something brand new. Something brand new. And so I am going to wet all of these. We've still got nine to open, but I think I want to swatch these ones out first. Ooh, that's so pink. It sort of reminds me of Mimosa, but I think it's just different enough. And then I believe... which is very green. I have a thing about greens. I don't love, like, I have so many. If you've seen any of my palette videos, you'll know that I have a thing with greens. I have so many of them. And I go back and forth on if I found my perfect green or not. I'm back to thinking I haven't, though. There are ones that have come close. I just haven't found one that like consistently stays in my palette for a long time. They're in there for a bit and then they're switched up with something new. I'm finally gonna be able to swatch up some of these. So let's do a daisy here. Hibiscus is drying a lot darker than mimosa. Maybe it just granulates less. Daisy Lou is quite opaque, which is what you expect for a cadmium. Cosmos is very pink. I'm in a stage of really being into pinks again. It was very moody in November, my color palette wise, what I was painting in my personal life, not necessarily what I was posting, but I'm back to really being into the bright colors. Ooh, that's way more opaque than I thought it was going to be. Yes, that makes sense. Let's 
No, it's not about to be careful. It's fine, he's not going to touch that corner. So really, these sheets don't have to be perfect. These are what I use as my reference sheets if I'm doing a single color project, a single brand project, because they make it so easy to see all the colors from one brand in one space. Ooh, that's fun. I wonder if that's a PB55. It feels like a PB55. It feels like it's a dark and moody violet. What do we think Peacock's gonna be? Is it gonna be a green or is it gonna be a blue? I thought it was a green, but now I put water on it, it looks blue. Oh, it's like, it's like a phthalo blue. Huh. I would not have guessed that. All right then. What's next? I think I can do this one, and this one, and this one. Let's end with Sangria, because it is a mix, and so I think it's probably going to granulate really nicely. Ooh, I think this is a cobalt blue turquoise. And I think it may have just beat Daniel Smith out as being my favorite cobalt blue turquoise. Tawny is a lovely brown. I have seen a swatch of Tawny. So because my package went on a bit of an adventure, the other BAA team had gotten their packages. And so I have seen swatches of some of the colors, specifically the hollows, because I went looking, not knowing if my package was going to arrive before the release of them. And I wanted to know what they looked like. And then I shared a couple of the videos of them just so that people could see in case my package didn't arrive, but then it did. So Sangria is a mix of, I think three pigments, maybe four. I wish I had brought better paper with me. This is just Strathmore 400 series that I use for these sheets. Cause really it's just like a color reference. So the granulation isn't gonna be spectacular though for a little bat and blue granite, and even Mossy Glen and Misty Morning, like it's enough, it's there enough, and Lava Lizard. So, so I think I might do something fun. I think we're going to be able to do Wild Pink, Blue Spinel, and Strawberry. For the night, like there are too many colors touching it, we might be able to get away with doing Cinnamon as well. So Wild Pink is... I think it's going to be pink like Cosmo, but we'll see. Oh, it's like highlighter pink. That's fun. I wish I had a black light here. I bet you it glows on the black light. My ink is so dry. Moving my ink. A little bit. I bet you that glows under black light and is super cool. Ooh, strawberry might now be my second favorite red. For a while, it's been ruby. Ruby's been hard to beat, but. Do you really like strawberry? 
We'll see how it looks in its individual swatches when I put it out for my swatch book if it means too pink to be a red for me. And then Blue Spinel, which really just seems pretty cobalt turquoise. Oh, no, we're like more gray. It's a little more gray. I'll go with gray. Maybe we're just like slightly. No, we're gray. There's still a couple spots on here that need to be swatched. I think we can probably get all these dudes in then. I'm incredibly careful of how I do it. Normally I just heat two of them and they all dry. But I didn't have it with me. So you have to be patient. And move the sheet carefully. So we still got to, got to do cranberry and infinite. I will say this bottom edge of sangria is granulating really nicely. It looks like it's going to be very pretty. Let's just tuck that up there for now. And let's see what's in these final nine. I am hoping for the Vivinite Gray. I don't know what else. Blue Sky. Uh, I can't grab the swatch of it, but it is a color I quite like. Uh, the swatch is currently now hidden under a pile of stuff. Larkspur. Oh, oh, I'm so excited about that one. What's this? Oh, this is is the green this is a pbk 31 so this is the green that was in the morning meadows palette which i designed with laura it's a great green it's technically a black pigment but it looks green Really and blue. Oh, this is not labeled. It looks like it's wild pink though. Hmm. Mystery. What could be a new unnamed color? This is Candy Tuft, which is a sort of bright pinky purple. This is new.
Oh, this is a new label. Oh, this is another Viva Night. So this is the medium version. Which means this could literally be anything. Like I was trying to say what it was and I literally have no idea. Uh, so what I did was I sent Laura what was in my palette and she just pulled a selection of things she thought I'd enjoy. This is Breeze. Do I have Breeze? I honestly don't know. I have Sapphire, Turquoise, Cerulean, Blue Sky. I'm going to do the easy way to figure this out. Go to a spreadsheet and we're going to look up Breeze and see which palette it's flagged in. Because I think I might have it. File, find and replace. This sheet, ocean breeze, or just a coil breeze, ocean breeze. Nope, I don't have it. Cool. So let's wet these last four. So go back and re wet cranberry and night. Normally, I'd swatch that mystery pink, but I want to touch base with Laura about it. So let's look at. Cranberry first. Oh, sangria is really pretty. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty. I was expecting something like Quinn Magenta, and it is not like Quinn Magenta at all. It is much more purpley. I should have guessed that. Isn't this like the quinacridone violet? Is it pansy that's quinacridone violet? Something is quinacridone violet that I unwrapped. And I will figure it out at some point. This is Viva Night Blue. Ooh, it is way softer than I expected. I wet it twice thinking it was going to be like Daniel Smith Primatech colors where they are really hard to reactivate. That is not the case. It is super easy to reactivate. <laughs> and is incredibly pigmented. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. It's really pretty though. I feel like I put too much paint on there. So let's scoop some off. Okay. So is that the night blue? I'm loving sangria. This edge of sangria is so stunning. So everything from hibiscus across is new. And then we have four left. 
on this other page. I don't actually know how many colors go on a sheet. That would like be smart to know. But I don't actually know. So we're just gonna go with I have a lot of cosmic creation matte colors. Larkspur is I think what I wish a uh, phthalo blue green was. I don't actually like phthalo blue green. As a color, it's probably the color I actually hate in watercolors. It's just not it's not what I want. I want to like it. The same way I want to like chromium green oxide. Or yeah. I just like I want to like it and I never do. But I think Larkspur is going to be it for me. Yeah, it's PB15. Tranquility. Ooh, you are vibrant. You are like vibrant, vibrant purple. You're very pretty though. Then we have the night medium. So it is much more gray than the other version. Yeah. Quickly swatch them out side by side. Sure. Let me use a piece of that. So this is cold press paper. Uh, so these are the new Cosmic Creations colors that just showed up this week. I think most of them are in the shop right now. But the super shimmery ones that I posted earlier this week, so all of these ones, release New Year's Eve. So these are the holographic color shifts. Um, and I was hoping to get a video, or hoping to use them in this video, uh, but the fam has just texted and they are sitting in the car in the driveway <laughs> waiting for me to finish. So I'm going to quickly finish and then I'm going to have to run. So this is the Vivanite Blue. Versus the Vivanite Medium. So the Vivanite Medium is definitely more gray and more green, I would say. That being said, they're both really pretty colors and I'm excited to use them in a piece at some point. And then here's Breeze. Oh, that's really pretty. Uh, that's really pretty. It's... Wow, so what is this? This is Viv Blue, and this is Viv Nude. So here are the new colors. So from Hibiscus across, is new. So hibiscus leaf, spruce, daisy lou, cranberry, goldenrod, sangria, which I'm absolutely loving this edge. Actually, we thought they're sitting in the car. They can continue to sit there. Uh, let's put sangria on a piece of 100% cotton cold pressed paper because we can. And because I want to, I'm going to do it wet on wet. There's a wet. Oh, that's really pretty. So that is Sangria. And I don't know if it's in the shop. I think it is. But it's much more Layers. 
like Shadow Rose is comparing colors. Where's my Shadow Rose? I feel like I wrapped a new one, but I don't need to use a new one. I've gotten them a long ago. Where's my Shadow Rose? Shadow Rose is much less. more pink and less red. That's how I would describe it. I need to set the longer. Oh that was the blue. Oh that was so let's start with sangria. And then this is Shadow Rose which is much more purple. Looks even more purple in this swatch for whatever reason. I didn't let it sit long enough, which is really the reason. But it's much more purple and it'll granulate out into pink. But it's So you like you can see like the purple and the pink on the edge. I would say of what I swatched, sangria, the vivanite blue, the vivanite green, tawny, and probably blue spinel are probably my favorites. They're such good colors. Uh, I'm going to have to run because, you know, the family's sitting in a car in the driveway. But I hope you enjoyed um, getting to see some of the new stuff. And it was great to finally get to open it after it, you know, went on a bit of an adventure to a different foreign country. Um, yeah. It's always fun to open new paints. I'm quite excited to get to reorganize my palettes.